Good morning, my friends. How are you? It is a rainy Monday. Well, shit, it ain't Monday. What the hell? It's Thursday, a rainy Thursday here in LA. Anyway, I'm going to be cooking some smothered potatoes. Y'all remember that? I hope my camera angle was cool. But anyway, I've already chopped up. I've already chopped up the um, I like onions, bell peppers, cilantro, not cilantro, Lord have mercy, parsley, and um, jalapeno peppers in there. So I've already cut those up. I'm going to put that to the side. And I will be putting it in that hot grease in a skit. Anyway, how y'all doing this morning? <sighs> a whole bunch of things going on. I'm so sick and tired of that Nicki Minaj freaking uh, Megan the Stallion thing. I don't know what the hell to do. I'm getting on my nerves with that shit. These young girls need to learn how to coexist with each other and stop acting silly. So anyhow, I got me some, um, these are the yellow potatoes. The, yellow, the golden potatoes. Don't y'all use them russet potatoes no more. Throw those out. Those are only for french fries or something. When you're doing scalloped potatoes or smothered potatoes, get you some golden potatoes because they work best. And they work best when you're cooking um, mashed potatoes. So all I'm doing here is cutting up my potatoes in like little dice sizes so that they can um, cook quickly um, in the skillet. Anywho, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I see I have a couple of new subscribers. Very thankful that you guys decided to hang out with the coolest chick. A whole bunch of things we do over here on my channel. This is just one of them. Just um, cooking, traveling, doing food reviews, whatnot or whatever. And so, yeah. You can see, I got my potatoes cut up in a dicey type form. You can cut them as, you know, small as you like, as big as you like, however you like. I just like to cut mine uh, enough so they won't be cooking forever. I always keep my potatoes in water so that, um, they won't turn brown on my ass when I'm cooking. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What else is going on in the world today? Oh, I see they're trying to cancel Snoop Dogg. I mean, you just can't, you know, have freedom of speech these days. So, I guess, it's, you know, that whole political thing, I don't like to get into that, you know, to each his own. Whoever you vote for, that's your business. You know, whatever you want to do, that's your business. But, um... Yeah, they, the world will cancel you if you <laughs> go the wrong way. It's crazy. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it's raining in L.A. again. It never rains in Southern California. That's what they say. But I'm here to tell you that's a damn lie. It don't rain here that often, but when it do rain, it be looking crazy as hell. Like, why does it look like, you know, it's back in the 80s when it was storming? And we had these storms and shit, or it looked like uh, back in the Midwest somewhere out here. Well, now it's kind of clearing up. It's not doing, it's not raining as bad. It's not as windy as it was, but I don't like it. I don't like all this rain and shit. I can't stand it. Anywho, I'm going to turn my... Uh, my fire on. Shit, I forgot to turn the damn fire on. The grease needs to get hot. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to dry up the potatoes, turn the, the skillet on and whatnot or whatever. So like I say, I have my concoction in there. The potatoes are right here. Sometimes I like to combine it. Well, I probably will. I'm going to combine this in here. Hey y'all, good morning. Okay, 
this right here. This is what it looks like before it goes into your um, into the skillet. And so, I, like I said, I have my grease here. I'm gonna get it ready to pop this in there. And as I see, there's still some water, a little water in there. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna get all of this. I'm gonna get all of this out of here. All of the um, hot. So we can start to season it up. That's what it's gonna look like. You know, I put it in the skillet. Nice and pretty golden potatoes in there. We're cooking smothered potatoes right now. So let's see. I'm gonna add a couple of things. I'm gonna add some salt. So this potatoes, we gotta salt it up. Turn the fire down some. Once y'all have the fire blasting to burn this shit up. I'm gonna put some um tonies. Little tonies. I'm gonna add some pepper. Because you don't like pepper. Some pepper in there. I'm gonna get some onion powder. Un onion powder. Why well, I can't talk this morning. Some onion powder in there. I'm gonna do some garlic, garlic powder as well. I'm trying to get the top off. Maybe I should have had the top off, but I didn't. Some garlic powder as well. And we'll get that stirred in there. Get that seasoned up. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm going to show y'all what else I put in there. It's like a little secret. I'll show y'all what else I put in there. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, I am going to add some garlic paste in there once it gets, you know, almost done or whatnot or whatever. It just gives it a nice little garlicky flavor. If you love garlic, you know, you can have that in there. So today, I guess I'm going to be cooking some fish. I've been wanting some catfish for I don't know how long. Uh, I went and got some fish the other day from this place in LA called Happy Fish. Boy, I was so mad at that fish. I didn't know what the hell to do. For, uh, well, the fish was okay. The fish was okay. But uh, the fries was all burnt. They had so much seasoning salt on there. I mean, damn, you could have seasoned the whole goddamn, you know, uh, roast with the seasoning salt that was on the damn fries. And so I did have the fish and now I'm like, you know, in this fish mode. Have y'all ever did that? Where you have something and now you want to eat it for days just over and over again Gen generally it'd be some fucking tacos that you have and you want to eat over and over again but hey i did i had the fish and now i want some and so i got some fish throwing out in my uh throwing out right now that i'm gonna be cooking uh later on today on this rainy day schedule here in los angeles california Anywho, yeah, just talking about, I was talking about some of the things that was going on in the world that is just absolutely just insane. But hey, I digress. I just don't want to. What I want to know is, is anybody watching this show called Caught in the Act? It's with Tammy Roman, I believe. She's that chick from like Basketball Wives from back in the day or whatnot or whatever. But she had to have this show. Um, it come on VH1 <laughs> the other day. Uh, what, a couple of days ago it came on and they had uh, people on there her name was Corey and the the other I just just know her name was Corey go and look up Cat caught in the act and look for the episode that has the girl named Corey unbelievable okay after she called in for Tammy to come because she suspected that her boyfriend was cheating well of course Tammy comes the guy is cheating or whatnot or whatever they surveillance him, find out, yeah, he is, you know, messing around with another chick. Brought her in, Corey in, told her, hey, yeah, you know how they show you. It's kind of like a cheater's uh, reality TV show. 
So they started showing her the footage of this fool cheating or whatnot or whatever. And she say, I've been, I've been cheating on him too. I'm like, what the hell? So anyway, she, she had been cheating on him for like a year and a half with some other guy that uh she had fell in love with, I guess. And the, the thing was, when Tammy brought them together, you know how you go and like uh, confront them to say like, what the hell are you doing with her and all this other type of shit that they done, you know, uh, created a skit for or whatnot. I don't really believe everything that's going on, but it's very entertaining to say the least. And anyway, so she's like, what the hell is going on? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so he's like, well, you know, every time I want to do something with her, she gone. I don't ever know where she is. She just took a trip a couple of days and I could, was calling her and she wasn't answering her phone. And this just been going on for so long. So I just decided to get me somebody else. And in the same breath, he said, what the lawn man doing here? Uh, yeah, Tammy, what the lawn man doing there? And so, baby, Tammy done brought the girl's dude that she had been cheating with to the goddamn setup, okay? Of course, he don't know what the hell is going on. He's like, what the fuck is going on? And so, anyway, he's like, they, you know, they're talking, Tammy, like, sit down. I'm making this, this story is too long, okay? Go and watch the episode. But anyway, Tammy's like, sit down. We can discuss, you know, what's going on. You don't know what's going on. I'll let you know what's going on. So the other guy is like, so when the lawn man, when the guy is like, what is the lawn man doing here? The lawn man, like, what the hell is the Amazon package man doing here? I'm done, okay? She done told each one that, oh, he the lawn man and that's the Amazon man. Like, the girl just had it all set up, okay? But the kicker, the killer was, baby, she done told both these men, apparently she was pregnant like a year and a half ago. She done told both these men that they baby done passed away, okay? Lawn man was like, I done signed, I signed the death certificate. And was there, you know, when his baby took his last breath. And the other guy is in a state of shock. So, I mean, baby, I, I'm, you know, I got three boys. And I be telling them, watch these chicks. Because they like to perform and act silly, okay? And it's just absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, I'm telling y'all. Watch that. It's a, a cool little show. But we potatoes going on. Let me see y'all. Show y'all what it looked like right now. Okay. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. I'm going to cover this in a minute. Just cover it up so that um the steam, you know, can kind of get the potatoes to cook into the consistency. Getting it to, you know, get soft or whatnot or whatever. I'm going to cook it like that. This is the way that I do my scalloped potatoes. And you can do it any other way that you want to do it. You can add butter, add avocado oil, add whatever you want to oil into your uh, scalloped potatoes. But this is the way that I do it. I love it this way. I just taught myself this way. My mama just liked to add onions into hers. I like to add a little bit more into mine. So I have my top here. I'm going to cover it for just a little while. And yeah, so I'm probably going to, uh, what y'all think I should make with my fish? I like to make homemade tartar sauce. I like a lot of things homemade. And so, um, ooh, the lighting over here, baby. Let me tell you. Girl, look at you, girl. Look at you, girl. This is 50. Mm -hmm. This wolf shit, I ain't 50 yet. This is 49. I'll be 50 in August. But I'm just saying, look at you, girl. This is no makeup. It's 8.45 in the morning over here, okay, in L.A. I ain't did too much of nothing but wash my face and put my damn teeth in. And I'm, you know, looking <laughs> looking like this. A young chick could never, okay? I don't know what these chicks is doing in this uh, day and age. Because, damn, y'all, some of y'all is looking as old as my grandmother. I mean... <sighs> Y'all be doing too much out there. A lot of y'all be doing too much. But salute to my beautiful sisters out there. I mean, you know. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love us. I love everything about us. So salute to my beautiful sisters out there. Salute to all my sisters out there. All, you know, my sisters, whether they're, they look like me or not. I love everybody as God loves me. And so, yeah. Um, anyway. Let me know 
what I should cook with this catfish. I'm gonna make my own tartar sauce, so I'm trying to think of a side or something to make with the catfish. Like, what do you have with catfish? I don't want no damn salad. I had a salad yesterday. I don't want no salad. So, mm, and it's storming, raining out here, so I don't wanna go to the store to get nothing. Anywho, I'ma figure that out. I'ma figure out what I'm gonna do uh, with that or whatnot or whatever. Oh, listen, I had went, Lord have mercy. Y'all know that I like to cruise. And so Royal Caribbean has the icon of the seas uh, boat that they just, you know, introduce to the world and you can book a sailing on it. I cruise Carnival, okay? I'm booked right now on the Carnival Jubilee for a five-day um, Western Caribbean in August, August the 24th through the 31st. So if any of you guys are going to be on that boat, I'll be on that boat for my celebrating my 50th birthday anyway i go on royal caribbean to see what the hell they talking about with they prices baby let me tell you it was a seven day okay royal caribbean had the nerve to tell me that i had saved over thirty five hundred dollars how in the hell did i save over thirty five hundred dollars if the god dog on trip still gonna cost me seventy five hundred i mean they got disney prices over there because yeah, a Disney trip will cost you about 10 G's for two people uh, to go over there to the Caribbean, okay? I'm cruising. We cruising out of Disney over here um, out of San Diego. And, yeah, yeah I could I could afford that one. But the other ones, um, yeah, it's going to be a big hell no for me. I'm not spending 10 G's to go at, <laughs> on a cruise. No, uh-uh. No, ma'am, ain't going to happen. So... Royal Caribbean over there acting a fool because just like anything else, you know, you're paying for the name. You're paying for the, that the ship is bigger. Uh, the quality of the food, I think, is still garbage. It don't matter how big the ship is, uh, when that they rent, whatever they did to the ship. The food is still the same across the board in the buffets on Royal Caribbean, uh, Virgin, uh, Carnival, all of the cruise lines. The foods are still the same across the buffets and across the main dining room. Where you will see changes at is when they are able to put new restaurants on the ship. And so uh, in Carnival's case, like I believe there's an Emerald uh, restaurant on the Jubilee. There's a couple of things that you'll get. And Carnival outrageous too, baby, let me tell you, on their new boats. Yeah, you're gonna pay a couple of hundreds more to sail on that new boat, but it ain't gonna be nowhere near the 75 hundred for a um, rural Caribbean. But anyway, let me show y'all the potatoes. They're getting ready. They're looking really, really good. Here they are right here. Just getting them up there. So yeah. So now I'm going to add my um, the little garlic paste I told y'all that I'm going to add in there to give it a little mm, of a flavor. Let's get that. You don't need that much of it because it's very concentrated. But I just like to add, you know. When I say you don't need that much of it, I, I always put more than what I need, okay? But anyway, you just add that in there. You stir that up in there. And yeah, garlicly, garlic potatoes you'll have. I mean, if you enjoy the garlic. If you don't, don't put this shit in there. Get you something, you know, leave it alone. Get you something else. And you can actually make this, you know, you can use no salt. Like I have that Tabitha. Let me show y'all. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay, listen. This um, Tabitha Brown seasoning, I got that from Walmart. It is, um, hold on a second. Let's see. It's Tabitha Brown all-purpose seasoning. It's garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. Um, you can use this in any, it's really good. I just didn't use it in this shit that I'm making right now. I have another bottle, but of course, when you're looking for it, you can't find it, okay? But, uh, y'all, you can check that out. That's a really good product. Anywho, let's look at these potatoes. They're coming together nicely. Nicely. So, yeah, we're gonna be ready to get that out. These are the golden 
potatoes so they cook a little bit better than the um than the um russet potatoes i can't stand those russet potatoes once my daddy told me about these golden potatoes that he, he was making uh some mashed potatoes one day and he's like yeah i use the golden potatoes i'm like what so i went and got me some they will cost you you know a couple of more dollars than the uh than the russet potatoes but anyway it's well it's well worth it i think to get the uh the golden potatoes to cook your to cook your um you know like mashed potatoes and smothered potatoes it just works out better the flavor and it's better and everything so yeah i'm going to i got my little baby boy here today he didn't go to school today so i am going to cook up these smothered potatoes i'll probably make like a couple of eggs or whatnot or whatever I have uh i have some turkey sausage and um i'll probably do um some um uh, toast or something like that so yeah i got this turkey sausage right here that i got this genio turkey turkey sausage in the thing it's regular season fresh turkey sausage i like that to have um when i'm having my little breakfast or whatnot or whatever so oh look at this y'all out of myself i cleaned out my refrigerator look at that it look nice don't it <laughs> it look nice in there and so yeah when you got boys man i'm telling you you need to try to you got to keep everything clean because i'm gonna do that thing like i'm a boy mom i'm a boy mom of course i knock they goddamn heads off when they get on my dog on nerves you know i'm a boy mom of course i got a padlock on my refrigerator because i don't want them in it in the middle of the night while i'm sleeping okay i'm a boy mom of course i call my baby boy baby boy shit like that i think i'm gonna do i'm a i'm a boy mom video and run down the street with that anywho oh god I was listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show this morning. I'm all over the place, huh? I don't care. You guys just walk with me and have this conversation with me. I was listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show this morning. But ever since, uh, what's his name? Cat Williams. <laughs> ever since Cat Williams talked about Steve. I used to love Steve. But ever since Cat Williams talked about Steve, I can't do him. I, I'm so upset. I don't know what to do. I love Family Feud. I love the Steve Harvey Morning Show. But baby, let me tell you, when I hear his voice, I, I get bothered. <laughs> I don't know why. Cat, why you do that to me? Why you do that to me? Why am I so bothered every time I hear Steve Harvey's voice? Come on now. I mean, Jesus, Lord. Just because he stole some jokes? <laughs> I can't believe it. So now I'm like, what do I listen to in the morning? Because Power 106 ain't worth a damn no more. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to listen to the Steve Harvey Morning Show no more, okay? So I got my radio off, and it's just crazy. Oh, listen, y'all like, uh, what is his name? Jason Stamos, Stan, 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 whatever his name is. I love him. He in this new movie called The Beekeeper. Oh, my God, that movie is so good. I, I love it. I looked at it last night. If you got a super box, it's on there. I guess the fire stick as well. But I got a, a super box. Um, but it's on there. If you want to check out, uh, if you want to check out his new movie, look at this. We got these potatoes. They going good. They ready. Look at that, my peeps. They ready. They ready. When they cutting up like that, they ready. And they got a little char on it. Yes, load. Anyway, I'm gonna get to this. It was nice. Nice talking with you guys. I'll be back later on today to do my uh, do my catfish and show y'all how I fry that up. It's going to be a wonderful day because God woke you up this morning and he blessed you to be here. You guys enjoy your day. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Please like, comment, and tell all your friends and you as well if you're not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Ahala!